Traditionally, there are few options in China for beer drinking. Despite Chinese cuisine being quite diverse, mass-produced pale lagers was what you'd get. A young couple with a love for beer wanted to make a change. Every local county, every local province has this special type of dish, but there's only one beer to go with it and it is so limiting. That's, that's what inspired us to start brewing beer to start with. You can't have so wonderful of a cuisine culture without a diversified drinking culture. Great Leap's brew pubs are some of the most popular in Beijing. Great Leap beers are unique for their local ingredients in China, Local tea, Sichuan peppercorn, and chrysanthemum are some examples. So when we first saw consumers react to our beer, it was more, oh, this beer has Sichuan peppercorn in it, so I'm going to try it. Or I didn't really know that you could make a beer with Tianguan Yin Wulong Cha, so I want to try it. We named them and we gave them backstories that were references and literation to either Chinese modern history, ancient history, literary references, whatever we could think. My grandpa said, if, if you wanted to do this, call, call it Great Leap, because you're literally leaving all the options behind. You're just taking a, a giant risk into the future. We started seriously putting in too much time in our hobby to a point that both of us like, should we just quit our jobs? Because no. oh, the... this is just the more fun. When we first found out uh, the Hutong place, and we loved it. It couldn't be more Chinese than that. That was our first location. It was abandoned for years. It was like uh, overrun by, by grass, and it was like buried under garbage. We put in all of our savings in making that place presentable. And you, you just felt this very natural connection to, to that place. We're also building a production brewery and managing a sales and marketing team. We started eight years ago, and here we are today, uh, in a scale multiple of 200 liters per batch to 12,000 liters per batch. This is an 8,000 square meter factory space in Tianjin, conveniently located uh, and accessible to the Beijing market. The fact that we're standing in a facility that has beautiful tanks and a brew house and a packaging line means that we've already passed through the hardest parts of starting a brewery in China. What we designed here is supposed to be reactive and expandable towards what we know the Chinese consumer is going to demand in the future. We met 14 years ago and life could have driven us apart on many occasions, actually. Um, should have. Should have. Didn't. <laughs> Just no. didn't, yeah. When we started, we were alone and worried and everything could have ended craft beer in Beijing. But now it, it feels like we're part of a community and we're really happy that that's the progress we've made in eight years. We're multinational, we're multicultural, we're multilingual. We're drinking beer uh, together on the site of a facility that's going to make more craft beer than China's ever seen. Yay. We're content with where we are. Yeah.